Hello YouTube, Gaming Goddess here with a review on Radiata Stories, a PlayStation 2 action role-playing game developed by Triace. Taking place in the kingdom of Radiata, the player takes on the role of a human boy who goes by the name of Jack Russell. He's a young boy who only wanted to be a great knight like his father was before him. With that being said, there are two sides to every story, so let's get into the review. First things first, let's take a look at the general gameplay Radiata Stories has to offer. With over 300 characters and 175 recruitable characters, this game gives each and every non-player character his and her own lifestyle, jobs, personalities, areas they like to hang out in, as well as their own homes, and of course, their own dialogue. All of these events are controlled by the game's day and night system. In my opinion, this is a pretty cool feature. I love how the game switches from day to night, and depending on the time of day will depend on what the character might tell you. Another cool feature in this game is how we can just go around kicking everything. Even the NPCs are kickable. Of course, if you kick someone too many times, it will result in a battle with that character or the character calling the guards on you. Even though kicking the NPCs is fun, always remember that you can go around kicking inanimate objects and furniture as well to get items and money. Around the town and in other locations, the player will be able to access shops. Shops are a good source to buying new weapons, armor, accessories, and items. I personally like to stock up before every major mission in the game. The player can equip any type of weapon onto Jack, which is actually pretty cool since in most RPGs, each character has a specific type of weapon that only they can use. One little thing that I would like to mention before we move on is the player's choice. During certain parts of the game, when given a task or a story event, the player will be presented with a set of choices. If it's a task, it's most likely a yes or no choice, and then there's the biggest choice in the whole game, human or non-human storyline. The player will be asked which route they want to take, and even though there are only two options, I still like being able to decide this for myself. Like I said previously, we have a total of 175 recruitable NPCs throughout the game. These characters are the potential party members the player can have with them through their playthrough. Some of these characters only require talking to them or completing a fairly easy task, while others will want you to fight. Then we have the characters that require Jack to be a certain level before you can recruit them. No matter what the task is, it is impossible to get each and every character in the first playthrough. I personally try to get as many as I possibly can before completing any of the major missions in the game. Once an NPC has been recruited, they will be added to Jack's friends list. The player is allowed to take three of the recruited NPCs with them in their party. Most of the time, the player can choose who they want but occasionally, certain events will require certain characters to be in Jack's party. Now let's take a look at the battle system. Remember how I said you can just go around kicking everything? Well, if the enemies aren't able to touch you first, then you can kick them. This will start the battle. This game gives us a real-time battle system where the player has direct control of Jack's movements and actions. Jack is the only character the player can control and all other party members are controlled by the game's AI. Even though we can't fully control them, the player can still issue commands to each individual party member. The player can also order the entire party into a tactical formation with the skill link command. Each of the skill links do different things, for example some are defensive and some are for attacking. This is not the only thing that can be done during a battle. By accessing the menu, the player can use items or change any of Jack's equipment, attacks, and skills. It's a bit troublesome having to access the menu every time you want to do something in a battle, but at the same time, it can be pretty helpful because certain attacks might be more effective on different monsters. Once a battle is complete, the player will get items, money, experience points, and every once in a while, Jack will obtain a new skill. Each weapon Jack uses in a fight will have a list of attacks. The more times the player uses this weapon, the more attacks the player can obtain. 
Moving right along to the graphics and audio, this game offers 3D models and has kind of a pastel cartoon look to it. The game looks real smooth and real clean, which is always a plus for me. I did notice that sometimes you can walk through some of the NPCs, but that's not a big deal. It still looks really good. As for the audio, this game isn't fully voiced, but the parts that are sound pretty good. Even though we can't change the audio settings, everything sounds nicely balanced. Now let's take a look at the pros and cons based on my opinion. First, the pros would include a great story, good voice acting, the amount of characters the player can recruit, the two different paths the player can choose, and the beautiful graphics. As for the cons, there is the occasional glitching through other characters, and you can't change the actual volume of the music or voices. Overall, I enjoyed Radiata Stories a lot. It's a fun RPG with beautiful graphics and a great story. There are tons of characters with their own personalities as well as dialogue. Of course, you will not be able to recruit every character in your first playthrough, but this game is definitely worth a second go, especially if you enjoyed it the first time. There are tons of features such as the day and night system, being able to sleep, taking on small or large tasks for NPCs, and of course being able to kick everything. This game also offers a human and non-human route. Once the game has been completed with either story, a new game plus will be available for the player. If you have never played or heard of Radiata Stories before, it's definitely worth checking out. Radiata Stories gets an overall rating of 10 out of 5. No, seriously, this game is really fun and it's actually pretty good. I would say this game is Goddess Approved, and it's definitely in my top 10 RPGs of all time. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Also, feel free to leave any comments, questions, or requests. I love reading and responding to each and every one of you. This has been a Gaming Goddess Review. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and remember to keep on gaming.